Hello all, this is Frank from F Dynasty, F Dynasty, <laughs> F uh, Files, Fall, uh, and we're back with some more Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. I had taken a break from gaming for a while to do uh, uh, some uh, paranormal activity, you know, um, more of the paranormal aspect of the channel ever since that uh, incident, but um... So, well, here we are, and we're going, we're going back right into it from where I started, like I always say. Um, I will say I broke my phone during one of the investigations, and I'm using another one right now, and the storage isn't very good on it, so the, the videos are going to be cut a little short. I think around 30 minutes, 40 minutes, so... We're not going to try to waste much time, and I'm going to show you exactly what to do, and it's, you know, so here we go. So, in my last video, we started out here. Hold on a second. Okay, yeah. Alright, so I'm back. Yeah, so we started out here, um, well, we didn't start out here, but we finished off here. And an important thing to note, you're going to come across the NPC, um... Probably something to do with the NPC in the beginning with his father, uh, the father looking for his son. Talk to him before you you move on. I made that mistake, and he disappeared. So I might have cut out a bunch of dialogue and rewards by doing that. So learn from my mistakes. Talk to the guy. And um, I'm going to run through this real quick, but we pretty much covered it. Um, down here, there's a tiger enemy. Poison up. I'm a little rusty, guys. Really rusty. Good thing my poison build carried me through that, because I am rusty as hell. Anyway. So yeah. Um, there's not really anything insane that you, uh, you know, you're missing out in this little gulch, but you want to run through the whole gulch. Um, definitely run through the whole gulch. And you know, get your morale up. It makes it easier, especially towards the boss fight. You want to get it up as high as possible when you get to that boss. Um, I did do a little bit off screen uh, because this area just really is so big. And um, basically, if you come over here, there's a couple hidden secrets I want to cover. You will get invaded by somebody. Oh, by the way, there's arrow guys up there. They shoot you, and it hurts. It definitely hurts, so be careful of that. Um, these enemies aren't too bad, but watch their death blow like that. And, uh, God. All right. Come on. I am, I am really just not... I am shit in the bed right now in this video. And there's the arrows I'm talking about. Okay, so yeah, you got your big guy up there. If you don't want to... 
Um, with, you know, full on attack, fight him. You want to climb up these things. Also, obviously, climb up. At, pretty much explore this whole area, guys. There's there's items everywhere. You know, you uh, it'll give you the option to smack this, and then the it'll draw. Uh, this is a drawbridge that will fly down, and you can jump up on here. Jump. Uh, well, of course, I did the. I jumped the gun again. Oh god. One of those videos. Oh god. Come on. Alright, hold on guys. Okay. Well, <laughs> I paused it because I was just getting annoyed to get up back up there. Important thing to know: if these things, if these guys are annoying you and they're really doing damage to you, um, which they are to me, so um, you can take them out with. I mean, even if you're not really, um, Jesus Christ, even if you're not really uh, spec into a good arrow build, you could probably, you could most likely, one shot them. If you can, if you can get that red marker on them, um, let's see, you can get it on this guy over here. Nah, uh, I mean I played with it the other time, but there it is. So yeah, he's done. He's dead. And then, oh, there it is. Yeah, dead. So. Yeah, he'll they'll just get one shot and get it out of the way for you. Alright, now drop down here. Make sure you don't over jump it like I did. All these archers go down easily. They're just meant for annoyance purposes, I guess. Um now obviously you wanna make this jump. And jump up here. There'll be a wizard. Oh my god, here we go. Let me see, I can get back up there quick. Important to take the wizards out because they buff everything around them. Alright, so, big guy, you know, you don't really want to burn some head on. Unless, I mean, he's not that bad, you can kill him. But, you know, let's make our life easier here and just get a killing blow off on him. thing all right so there's something up here that you guys definitely need to know about Hold on. if you come up uh, we can't leave these guys just chilling oh my god I'm gonna die I'm gonna pop school because I do not want to die kill this asshole This asshole. Hopefully the tiger's attacking this thing. By the poison. And yeah, there he goes. Now I am definitely low on health. So okay. So now important thing to know, you're you the objective is to get up on this wall, okay, guys. And um, these crossbows, um, they—they they, um, you pretty much you get three uses out of them every time. Uh, now watch these guys come out. You know, they—they they climb. They look like they're dead, but they come up pretty much at every crossbow. So expect them. Um, with these crossbows, you you know. I pretty much like to, to to go on them and look and see if there's anything breakable, like say like that wall right there. Shoot it. It's not. I've already checked this one. I'm thoroughly and uh, there's nothing. But 
um, I did find a secret with one um, over, and I'll show you where it is. But let's go. Great. Let's uh, go get our health back. I'm gonna pause it for that. Okay, so I went back. I retrieved and and uh, grabbed my potions and health back. So that side, the left side, is covered, and the gulch. Oh, which is the gulch I just fell into. Now, if you want to get back up the way you came, there's that way, and then. God, these things are so annoying. So yeah, and then you can get up this way. If you follow the gulch, um, there's going to be another tiger bad boy over there with a banner. Um, I already grabbed the banner, but let's see if we can get take a look over there. There's a banner behind those boxes and a hidden item, so it's worth going over and killing everything. Like I said, explore this entire area, but it's so big, I don't, you know, I, it's not really worth covering through the whole video. And I think I've covered a pretty good amount of it on the other video. Now, okay, let's cover this part. So you jump up here. And then, of course, the double jump is annoying in this game. Sometimes you gotta time it right, sometimes you spam. Watch this little break, jump it. Okay. And if, like I said, your little zombie you know, is always there. Whenever he gets the crossbows, he's always there. And, um, yeah, this is now here's an easy way of taking this guy out. Make sure you get a headshot. As you can see, it'll, it'll light up a little redder when you're at a headshot. Yeah. That's some easy chi right there, you know. So you might as well just shoot him down like that. But one of the more important things that oh shit, fuck. Um, I wanna reset I'm gonna reset that. Uh pause it up. So yeah. Back where we were. Double jump. Jump over the crack. Oh, I miss fuck that up. Kill the zombie. Remember, free kill, free chi. Make sure it's a headshot. Give him another shot just in case. He's dead. Okay, we're back, guys. Sorry about that. I had to talk to somebody. All right, so yeah, you yeah, know, shoot that guy. Why not? Takes two seconds. Gives you some chi. Now, again. Uh, um, I died from him running away. <laughs> That's why I paused it. But again, you want to get a killing blow off because it's easier. And you should just apl apply poison ahead of time. Always, whenever you can. With your poison builds. Stack that poison up. Hit him with your spirit. Say, I, I didn't even have to. That poison did its job and the spirit attack got him. I didn't, he couldn't even get up. See how easy that was? And now we're back to 25 morale, which is very important. And now, again, um, you take care of these zombies because they will frustrate you when you're fighting the, the, the big guys. Um, definitely range attack this guy. 
Get him out of there. Well, I'm doing so bad with deflection. Come on. Come on. So when you kill the bit with the big guy there, which it's nice again to take him out stealthily because if you don't, you're gonna fight two of them. And I always think that the halberd and he's like zoning in and out. The halberd guy is more annoying than the hammer guy. So you know, get ready for his fight. Poison, and here we go. That wasn't too bad, now was it? <laughs> um, watch the fire too, guys. Fire can, can actually really hurt you. Oh, it's this idiot. Now again, always look out for them because he he would have buffed that big guy if I had fought him quick, like more than a quick fight. Now this is the reason I came over here. Uh, a little hidden secret. See how you can over there on that uh, ridge or that little whatever that is, uh, you know, thing you could jump up on. Uh, normally there is there is not a way up, but if you go to this crossbow and you shoot, I think it's the, the thing you break down is right here. Shoot this thing, like the thing here, it'll break and then it'll give you, allow you access up to the top, which I've already done, but I wanted to show you that because that's pretty much all the secrets of the lower area. Now I did save the little mini boss, or maybe it's a boss, I'm not sure, for you guys, because I didn't want to fight him without you seeing it. So that's what we're going to do now. And he is in the middle of the battle. Um, so here we go, let's do it up. I got spirit ready, I got my morale ready, everything's good to go. He likes to lurk right in the middle of the gate. It's actually hard to see loot sometimes in the snow as well, as you just noticed. Not uh, so he's not at this part. Yeah. All right. Here's the here's the middle entrance of the gate, and um, might be a good idea to take out his his little his 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 arrow support guys up there. If possible. Quite annoying trying to get a sh quite annoying trying to get a shot off on them. can and there you go there you go a good, good good ass chunk of my health taken off uh all right so you know what before the fight i'm gonna go up there and fuck him up so i'll show you the way up now there's multiple ways up um obviously after you kill uh, your homeboy down here you can jump up through that way, and that would be the quickest way to the ranged attack guy. Uh, if you, yeah, you see the pillar, the, the little white stain on the wall, yeah, you can jump up that way. Well, we'll take the secret way that I showed you guys earlier. Um, there's going to be a lot of enemies up on this ridge, but there's banner flags too, so we'll go through all that. So we got a monkey up here, and he's ready to go. Oh, I popped spirit on him by accident. Oh well, I'll get it back. Don't let these warlocks harass you. Oh god, here we go with the jumping. Oh my goodness. Yeah. 
I don't even care what he dropped. I really don't. Eh, whatever. The ludist in me is gonna make me go get it. Alright. So yeah, here you got your top area here. Um, I thought there was a warlock up here. There is an item up on the um, shingles, so yeah. Ch remember, check everything, guys. Um, it's also nice to come up here so you can get a killing blow off on this big guy, so you don't have to really attack, you know, fight him head on. If I get it off right. Well, I didn't, so oh well. God damn it. I'm doing so bad with deflection. Reflection is the key to this game, guys. If you're doing bad with it, you're gonna have a hard time. You might as well just fucking put it down for a little bit. <laughs> All right, so here's your first banner on the top um, area, and then there's uh, there's a chest. Oh, uh, yeah. there's the hidden chest. I already opened it, but just you know, yields random weapons, just like everything else. Break everything because there's items. So here we go with the banner. Rest up. I'll hit up a level up because I can. And we're working on our wood build for me. Now we proceed. Um, yeah. Now if you open this building. There is a. I didn't open. Oh, I saved this for you guys. Okay, so we'll wait. Um, but it doesn't look like obviously it's not a boss. So um, we'll wait on that. Alright, here's the asshole shooting me at the top that I wanted to take out before we fought the guy at the bottom. Wizard. Take the wizard out. Okay. Okay. These guys, believe it or not, I've died to them. I'm underestimating them. See, like, look, look. They're, they're not. They are nothing to be joked with. But they're just killing blow you, and they dodge a lot. The best way to deal with these assholes is to flex. Took me out. See what I mean? And another one almost took me out. With like one health left. Yeah, be careful what them guys do. For real. They are no joke. Alright, so there's an enemy in here waiting for you. Get me with the killing of love. Stack that poison on him. 
There we go. That's how it's done. Alright, so you guys know the deal with the Shih Tzu. Give him an item. Let's give him something nice. Alright, so I'm gonna drop him the hundred forge sabers because they don't they're not for my build, but they are level four. So hopefully he gives me something good. He gave me a level 4 belt hook. Cool. So, we'll check that out later, or I will, off screen. Now, climb up here. Um, now, this might be where the warlock's standing. Okay, now, there's a banner. There's a banner up here. Okay. So, this is where the second banner is, guys, if you want to regenerate. And, yeah. I'm sure, I think there's a chest up here as well. Yeah, there is. I already opened it. There it is. So, here we go. Rest up. Get your stuff back. Why did my morale go down? Who killed me that I didn't kill? That's weird. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, alright. So, feed the Shih Tzu. Get up there, get the banner. Um, I jumped down by accident and I had to kill this fat guy. There's a fat guy with an axe and a, another one of those annoying ninja sword guys. And like I said, do not underestimate them. Yeah, once you get their pattern down, you can take them down pretty fast. But if they start getting it all, you know, one up on you, they, they start doing some damage and they could kill you pretty quickly. Give me another moment, I'm going to pause it. Alright, we're back. So, here we go. Now we're getting close to our time period. So, this is the end of the, of, of the, um, the bridge, basically. And as you can see, there's a thing that you smack down and then, bam, you go down there, you can do a little kill and blow on this guy. Horse get knocked off. Might as well kill this asshole. He's just chilling. Same with him. And then, uh, oh, another thing that's important. There's a banner over there. Um, so might as well destroy all these mobs. Get them out of the way. Come up here. Come up here. Hit the thing. Come down here. Kill this guy, you kill the witch, and then you got your, uh, your launcher, and then your banner. And you know what the banners do, guys. It raises morale, very important. Um, I'm, I'm think, I think you can get, yeah, you can. You can get a shot off on the boss with this, which, to be honest, why not? Yeah. There we go. Hit him with this. Yeah. I mean, even look, it's not even going to show red, but still, you can hit him. Or not. And yeah, I just took a huge chunk of his health out doing that. Alright, so we're going to fight him now. <laughs> because why not? Make it easy on ourselves. Um, grab this loot. Let's go fight this guy. Alright, uh, come on. Come on, buddy. Whoa.
want to use those offerings. Now that move is really annoying. I don't know if you... Poison with this. Yeah, that, that look that steam rolls your health. Another way of killing blow. Popping spirit on him. Got him, but I got him. There are the rewards at the right. And then, okay, cool. So when you kill him, you get your banner. Pop that banner. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the boss. And there we get some nice little grass as a reward. <laughs> Um, and you can open this big door. Okay, cool. Open the big door to the next part of the stage. Alright, so that's pretty much I'm going to conclude the video on this part of Halugan Pass. Still a huge area. It looks like there's plenty more to go with it. But um, before I do conclude it, I want to go over the top part a little bit just a quick uh, recap of it before the end because we still have a little bit of time yeah um, monkey guy let's fight him Use those martial arts, ladies and gentlemen. That's another mistake I was making. I haven't played in a while, so I'm kind of rusty. But I'm getting it back. Um, I'm going to have to look up or go back on the video and look the name of him up. Uh, the, the boss we fought. Anyway. Oh. These guys were more annoying than the boss. Alright, so those are pretty much all the secrets and whatnot of the, the top area. Um, you know, the wall. Almost looking like the Great Wall of China. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, again, there's the boss at the bottom. And we fought him, and obviously he wasn't too bad. He looked like he could have been annoying, but I had spirit up. My morale is higher than it should be. Or it's higher it's as high as it should be when you fight bosses if, if you do your due diligence and go across the entire land and do everything that you're supposed to okay so I'm gonna run to the banner and then we'll call it Shot have I? I don't even know. Whatever. Okay. Not even an enemy. Okay. Alright, yeah, so. Um. There's definitely ways to get down or through uh, this part. 
from the top, I think. Um, actually, let's check that out real quick before we end it. I'll do a quick, a quick, quick, quick run through because I'm really running out of time now. We're, we're gonna skip him. Fuck him. Same with this guy. Screw you, dude. Alright, so yeah. Um get up here, blah blah blah. Um this there's no way. Oh, by the way, there's a chest. You know, there's there's chests everywhere up here. So again, when you get to this part, take your time and look for everything. There's rewards everywhere, guys. Oh, I didn't even think it would reach that far. Jesus, this guy. There we go. This asshole warlock in the background. Die. Okay. Kill this dickhead so he doesn't shoot me. Uh, okay. This part. Um, let's do this up real quick before the end. Hopefully I don't run out of footage. Yeah, so you, you know, you open this door and then that's what's in it. There's gotta be something good in here. So why don't we try pulling somebody without... Without both of them coming at the same time. Damn, took, that took half his HP out. Easy enough. Yeah, loot. Yeah, with those guys, be patient. Let them attack you first. Deflect and then devastate. So yeah, okay. Hidden chests. Makes sense. What do we got? Got an official seal, seal level 4. Not bad. Two uh, level 4 trinkets. Maybe they will be better than what I got. That's good. Oh shit, enemy. Yeah. Get, get smoked, homie. Get smoked. Open this chest up, see what's in there. And nothing special. And can't open this door. And then I don't see anything in the rafters. So there it is, guys. Um, I'm gonna jump off. Damn. So it looks like the only, well, yeah, it looks like the only way to proceed really forward. Um, Except for maybe on the other side, which I jumped off, but we're going to conclude the video. Because I'm going through this way anyway. Because it just looks cooler or more uh, more interesting anyway. So there you go, guys. That's the video. Please like and subscribe uh, for more uh, Woe Long. And um, that's the Battle of Hooligan Pass. Um, and the boss fight in the middle of the battlefield.